Hello, I'm Peter Pan. We will talk about Buckbeak and Werewolf. In Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Buckbeak was a male hippogriff. He lived with Rubius Hagrid during Harry Potter's third year at Hogwarts, along with a few other hippogriffs. In September 1993, Rubius Hagrid brought his first care of magical creatures class to see and study Buckbeak, as well as other hippogriffs. Under Hagrid's direction, Harry was able to successfully approach Buckbeak slowly, and was even allowed to ride him for a short flight around the paddock. This type of animal is fictitious, combining the bird of eagle and back of a horse. This might come in behind the scenes. As soon as the flight began, Buckbeak was ready to fly as Harry Potter maintains his own balance. The action is similar to about airplanes. Buckbeak and Harry flew across Hogwarts Castle and far, far away towards the river. Harry enjoys his wonderful life and made his proper balance. Once the round is complete, Hagrid called Buckbeak with a whistle and then he landed safely back to this position. Harry felt happy as he enjoyed his own flight. On the other hand, a werewolf was a creature who normally resembled human being, but, upon the complete rising of the full moon, became an uncontrollable, fearsome and deadly wolf. According to the book at page 394, taught by Severus Snape, a werewolf could not choose whether or not to transform, and would no longer remember who they were once transformed and were very aggressive, multiple werewolves were known to kill their best friends or loved ones, while in wolf form, if they were given the chance. Lupin transformed into werewolf, any children would inherit their affliction. Soon after, Buckbeak defeated werewolf to save Harry and Hermione from posing a danger to creatures. They flew with us to save Sirius Black, just as before we discussed. So, these two we have talked about Buckbeak and Werewolf. Like, comment, and subscribe now.